Hello everyone and welcome to another tutorial by blenderschool.webs.com and in this tutorial I'm going to show you how to create this minecraft tree which you can see in this picture right here. I'll be using blender version 2.72b and the cycles render engine for this. So this is the final scene. We have the tree with the leaves and the and the bark and all the textures are applied and also we're going to be doing a bit of compositing to get a nice render. So let's create a new scene. So start a, uh, start a new scene in Blender. And um, but what happened? Oh yeah, okay fine. So this is the default scene and we're going to be using this cube. Move this cube above the grid flow by pressing G, then the Z, and then 1, and then enter. Now let's unwrap this cube to add the texture. Split the screen like this. And then change this to be the UV image editor. Click on open and select the texture. Now for the texture, we're going to be using this texture, Minecraft leaves texture. You can download this uh, from blenderschool.webs.com. Open this texture and we need to apply this texture to this cube. So we need to unwrap it. So come in the edit mode by pressing the tab key and then press U and then select unwrap. So now it's unwrapped. And now we can uh, add the material for this. So close this panel. Drag this to view more properties and go to the materials tab. Change this to be the cycles render engine. Then click on the use nodes. Now change this 3D view to the node editor so that we can edit our material more properly. And start by adding an image texture node by pressing shift A and then from texture select image texture. Place it over here. Connect the color to this color. Click on the small button and then select the tree leaves.png texture. Then we are going to add in a transparent node to get the transparent regions on our, on our leaves. So press shift A and then from shader select transparent. Yeah. Place it over here. Connect the color to this. Also this image texture color to the displacement. Now let's combine this diffuse and the transparent. So press shift A and then from shader select mix shader. Place it over here and connect both of them. Change the FAC value of the mix shader to be 0.9. So now we have a basic material of our leaves. I'm just going to name this material leaves. Now let's create the, the big leaves, the big whole model of the leaves. So come in the modifiers tab and then select add modifier and then array. Change the count to be 5 and then add one more array modifier and change the x axis value to be 0 and the y axis value to be 1 and change the count to be 5 again. Again, we're going to add in one more array modifier and change the x-axis value to be 0 and the z-axis value to be 1. Apply all the modifiers from the starting till the ending. So now we have our basic big block. Scale this down by pressing S and then 0.5 meters. So now we have a bit, a bit smaller block. Come in the top view using the view menu and then orthographic view. Come in the edit mode by pressing the tab key and in the wireframe mode by pressing the Z key, the Z key. Press A once or twice till everything is deselected and then press B and then select the three middle uh, horizontal faces and then three vertical middle faces like this so that you get a cross selection and move this these faces using the blue arrow on top just like this. It's just fine. And we can also delete a few faces by selecting multiple faces by holding down shift and right clicking on the corners and press X and select vertices. This will delete a few corners and it will make our tree look more good. So you can delete multiple faces and vertices like this to make the tree look good. So once you have done this, you can also extrude a face over here by pressing E and then just placing it over here. Let me just check if it's fine or not. It's, it's, I think it's just fine. Yeah, yeah, it's just fine. Now once when you extrude one face, don't forget to unwrap it again. Otherwise, it may have some uh, errors on the texture. So select the tree leaves and then press U, unwrap, unwrap, and unwrap. So now we have it unwrapped. The next thing what we're going to be doing is we're going to be creating the bark. So come in the front view and um, uh, add in one more cube. So press shift A and mesh in the cube. Scale this down by pressing S and then point 0.5 and enter. 
Now basically for this also we are going to be using this tree bark texture uh, um, not this, um, this one so you can download this also and again split the screen like this change this to be the UV image editor click on open image and then select this bark.png texture and now we need to unwrap this cube which we have added just now so come in the edit mode by pressing the tab key then press U and then select unwrap so now we have a cube unwrapped so to see the textures you can come uh, you can press the alt z key to see the texture now we don't have the material for this cube so the texture won't be seen or you can also come in the texture view but it doesn't work okay fine and the next thing what we're going to be doing is um, uh, adding the material for this bark block so come in the materials tab and click new change uh, change this uh, other file let's go to the node editor yeah so in the node editor add an uh, image texture node place it over here connect this color to be this color and then click on this button and then select the bark.png texture as you can see it's up uh, you can see the texture now and also connect the image texture color to be the displacement also so it's it's now fine you can also name this material if you want bark i mean thing now come in the modifiers tab and select add modifier and then array modifier change the x-axis count to be zero and the uh, z-axis count to be one and change the count value to be five yeah and now just place it in the middle and a bit down uh, one block down from the top come in the top view and move it at the middle middle just like that it's just fun yeah so it's just fine now now let's scale the whole tree a bit more smaller so select the tree by right clicking and make sure that you're holding down shift and then press s and then point seven and then enter now let's save the project so come in the file menu and then save select the directory and save your file i'm just gonna save it now let's set up the scene to render so come in the front view move both the bark and the leaves by pressing g and place it at the middle come in the top view and move it at the at the center so it's just fine now now let's scale the floor so come in the front view and then press shift a and then add in a plane scale this plane by pressing s and then 20 and then enter now come uh, now when you duplicate this plane so press shift d and then r and then x and then 90 and enter to rotate the plane come in the right view and move this plane just behind the uh, behind the tree leaves so that's just fine and now uh, let's set up the world so come in the worlds tab change the worlds color to be black so now we have a basic scene now let's set up the lighting so come in the top view select the lamp by right clicking on it come in the object data section change the size to be 2 click on use nodes change the strength to be 1750 and move this lamp by pressing g uh, to this corner right here press shift d to duplicate this lamp and place it on the left side come in the front view select both the lamps by holding down shift and right clicking and move it a bit down so now we have our lamps ready for our scene so now you can come in the rendered view just to see how our whole scene will look like and if you're satisfied with the scene we, we are ready to render so i think it's pretty pretty it's just matching to what i had created let's set up the camera view now so come in the solid view and come in the camera view and press n and then select lock, uh, check the lock camera to view checkbox and then you can just move and set up your camera view so like this it's just fine yeah yeah just fine and then uncheck lock camera to view option once you're ready and save your project come in the render panel to set up the render settings change the sampling to be 100 now you should use more samples because for this i had used 100 and still you can see a bit of noise in these regions which i don't like at all so it's a good idea to use more samples than 100 but for this tutorial i'm going to be using 100 samples only save your project before rendering and then click on this render button 
after the render is complete we, we are going to be com uh, going to the compositor to do a bit more editing on a picture so i'm going to pause the video till it's finished yeah so the rendering has finished and this is the image so it's pretty similar to what i had created um this one yeah it's pretty good so now let's go to the compositor by changing this uv image editor to be the node editor come in the render layers nodes and then check the use nodes but uh, checkbox move both of these nodes the uh, at the extreme ends you can also add in a viewer node but uh, i won't add it so uh, to, uh, the starting node will be the hue saturation node so press shift and from color select hue saturation value this will uh, make the colors a bit more clearer and look at, uh, it will make the colors a bit more darker and more brighter change the saturation value to be 1.1 next we're going to be adding a color balance node from the color color menu color balance place it over here now change the color balance starting the this one the first one the lift the lift value the color of the lift want to be a, uh, a slight orange color very slight not much yeah so very very slight and change the middle one the gamma to be a bit blue and change the the gain to be a bit white so this will increase the brightness and you can also see the uh, the uh, result using the viewer node you can see it from the small screen right here if you want to see so the next node which we are going to be adding is going to be uh, the RGB curves node um, and um, this uh, uh, we are going to be adding this node to decrease the brightness a bit because because of this color balance we have increased the brightness so add in an RGB curves node in the color menu again place it over here and uh, just click over here in the middle and just decrease this one a bit that's it that's just fine I hope so yeah now let's uh, now let's create a vignette so that it looks more good so to create a vignette I'm gonna add in a lens distortion node by the uh, using uh, in the distort menu lens distortion place it over here add in a math node from the converter menu place it over here and then add in a blur node from the filter menu connect all these three nodes together change the distort value over here to be one change the math value of the uh, the value of the math node to be the greater than and change the value to be zero and change the blur to be fast gaussian and check relative and i'm gonna change this to be about 25 percent 25 percent i think it's fine also connect this uh, uh rgb curves output to be the lens uh, lens distortion image input let's mix both the images so add in a mix node from the color menu place it here connect the image of the blur to be the in, uh, bottom input of the image change the mix type to be multiply and now you can add in a viewer node uh, from the output menu and place it over here connect this to this and then check backdrop now once you add a viewer node you can see how your scene looks like so now you can do a bit more further editing if you want to so i think the orange is a bit a lot so let me just make it a bit less and this is a bit better yeah it's nice yeah so it's pretty well looking good yeah it's just fine yeah so now uh, now to save the final image what uh, what you can do is uh change this node editor why is something missing in this picture Okay, I think it's just fine. It's similar to what I had created though. And now the next thing what we're gonna be doing is saving this final render. So you can render again or come in the viewer node, change this to be the viewer node, then just save this picture right here. Um, so that's it. it comp uh, this completes the tutorial and I hope you learned something from this. And also you can try different textures different stuff like using this texture to create the uh, cherry tree so you can download these textures from the school and hope you all enjoyed it